Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you, I really do get dressed and my room is not always this state. But this is the third video I am filming in the same day. So what you've seen for the last three weeks, including now, are filmed the same day. So don't think I'm just a mucky pup. Now, today's video, not sure how well it's gonna go down. It's something I've been meaning to do and been putting off for a while. <sighs> Adult female, strategyrus darlingy. Sorry, I'll keep looking at her. I don't know if she's gonna survive. I don't know if she's suffering. <sighs> Hopefully you guys can give me some advice. But we're gonna rehouse her and hope for the best. Let me explain. Let me just roll this intro magic. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Right, I need to go and get this darlingy so you know what I'm talking about. Right, so in this gargantuous home lives our adult female darlingy. Now she's actually just here. I'm not sure if you can make her out or not. Let me tell you the story before we get on to the rehouse. So I gave this darlingy a nice big home so she had plenty of burrowing space. Now she's lived in here happily for quite a long time. But then one day she started acting weird. She came out like this. She's still there? Yeah, like this. And started acting arboreally. Now, I did wonder if there was like prey in there disturbing her or anything. So I checked around, I couldn't find anything. I tried giving her a little bit more of like a wet season kind of feel in case it was too dry for her. It made no difference. I've tried drying it right out with just a water dish still making no difference. She spends probably 80% of her time up in these corners and around the edges and spends the rest of the time sat by her burrow, which I don't know if you can see, just by the web there, doesn't burrow anymore. Now concern number two, her abdomen is quite large, but it hasn't shrunk in about six months. This darling E hasn't taken to prey in at least three, maybe four months. Yeah, her abdomen is still chunky. So we've got an arboreal acting T that is fossorial terrestrial. We've got a large abdomen that isn't going down and not feeding. You might well be thinking primo. She's not gonna be hanging around on the edges of the enclosure up here if she was in primo. She's also a lot less defensive than she ever was before. So my thoughts are impactation or impaction. However it is you guys see it. Now, before I carry on this story, should we look at her? So you've got something to actually, to actually see here. Right, so my audio might go a bit different now, but there she is. Adult female darling, he raised her since a tiny sling. She's always been an amazing eater up until these past few months. Now, the reason I think it might be impaction or impactation is because of the fact of the larger abdomen, the not eating. And not only does she hang around arboreally up here, she also does a lot more webbing and pushes her butt along the sides. So I've tried everything I can think of in the book for this girl. I have actually cupped her and I've tried to use a damp, warm cotton bud on her butt to see if I can release any plug. That's been unsuccessful. I've tried that two times now and she's actually been a little darling about it. She hasn't even been kicking off. Um, I've tried keeping her in a warmer, damper condition by her butt. <sighs> Didn't work again. So I am pretty much out of ideas for this. So we're gonna go with one last thing and that is to rehouse it into somewhere smaller so it's an entirely new home and smaller, just on that off chance that there's something wrong with the substrate perhaps, and that's why she's acting this way, unlikely because she was fine in here before, but also for the fact that there's less fall. Up here, she's got a lot of space that she could potentially fall. Look how beautiful that home is too. And I don't want her, especially with this lip too, to drop and injure herself, especially if she's got a poorly abdomen, I don't want that to just burst, right? So we're gonna put her in a smaller home and we're gonna just hope that a rehouse helps sort her out. I can't see it being a benefit, but 
if it's gonna you know stop her from falling at least you know anything is worth a try is what i'm trying to say anything is worth a try so i'm going to close this up oh see she's got movement about her she can still run and we're going to go and sort her out a 20 centimeter cube instead guys and um, we're just going to hope for the best for her so if anyone has any further advice that i haven't done please let me know um and yeah let's just let's just bulk this enclosure up and um give her plenty of digging space and see if she changes her behaviors and then i'll come back to you maybe in a few weeks time and we'll see if there's been any changes oh one thing i forgot to add guys the other reason i want to do the rehouse is because um my friend had a oratum that was acting this way and we rehoused that one and it was dead within i think a week um definitely impactation um you could tell after this one's got no visible plug or anything but um the fact that oratum was rehoused and then just died even though it had been in the same sort of style, the, the same behavior, sorry, as this Darlingy for probably around about the same amount of time. Now I'm not moving her because I want her to die, but I'm moving her to just see what happens. So anyway, let's get this enclosure sorted. So this is what we're gonna be putting her in, huge size difference, right? But she still have enough space to burrow in here, especially if we make it slanted and there'll be less falling space. Now. I don't think you need to watch me set up another enclosure because we did that in the Sturmy video. So we're just gonna time jump here. I'm gonna set this up the best I can off the camera and uh, you guys can watch me get her in. So, three, two, one. And there we have it, guys. Very basic setup. We've got two places she can start a burrow down here or in there. We've got a water dish. The moss is dry moss, just there for a bit of added effect and a bit of lichen moss there. Dry, my phone is going mental, I apologize. And a filled water dish. So, where is my phone? Aha, there you are making all that noise. So, we're gonna go and get her out of that one, into that one, and then keep our fingers crossed okay 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 oh, i should probably move this up a little bit give myself a bit more space eh all right where's she gone where has she gone oh damn it she's she's on this lip that's that's awkward okay we need to get her down from there oh oh got me straw stuck got me straw stuck well, i'm just gonna actually just try and coax her down You see, she's a little bit flighty, but she's not defensive for an African tea. She used to be a bit more. Oh, you know what? I might be able to just cup her from there. Let's get this lid off. Oh, my baby girl. Let's see if you want to be able to have a closer look. Can we get you a closer look? She's right there, look. Come on, baby girl. See, no slapping, no biting. She is literally just behaving. There you have her. You can see the abdomen size. There are worse abdomen sizes out there, but the fact that that hasn't shrunk is a bit worrying right so i'm gonna tip this hopefully she doesn't just fall to her doom okay let's move that big bulk out of the way right okay um hmm, i don't have holes in this cup and this closure is Oh, this is going to be a little bit pain in the bum, isn't it, this? Didn't think this through. Well, things don't work in the realm. I literally could just carry her around like this. There's just no bother whatsoever. Look at that. Come on, gal. Okay, so I've skipped to a time where she's actually crawled along the bottom here. And she's in. So I was waiting for about 20 minutes before she crawled down. 
But now she's in, we might be able to get a better look at her. You guys tell me what you think. So there she is. This is a much better view for you than, oh, chill girl, than what you had before, because the light was quite the wrong way before. But there, look at her. See, she looks quite healthy to me. It's just her behaviours are so off. And you know what, now that I'm looking at her here, her abdomen does seem a little smaller than it did before. But I'm not just sure if that's because she's in a smaller home, so she looks different, or if it's the camera that I'm looking through. Hmm. Might have had a little loss in size, but either way, her behaviour is totally off for a darlingy. And it's not just specimen to specimen. Sometimes you'll get teas with different behaviours um, that act funny. But hers is just completely off for her whole lifespan. And you can see here, she's still not even rested on the floor. Oh, I've kind of... Don't do this with old wells, guys. Don't put your hands in the enclosure. Um, I just, I know her temperament. I oh, messed that one up a bit when I was trying to get her in. There's not as much space now, but she can dig it out how she wants. And to be fair, she probably won't dig. If she's going to spend the next few weeks sat up in that corner, I'll be devastated. But this is something that we're just going to have to wait and see. So yeah, I would like any advice for anyone that's gone through this, whether you've got impactation advice or whether you've just got strange behavioural advice. As I said, I've ticked off. Why can't I close this enclosure? Goodness me. There we go. So obviously I've ticked off the usuals, as I said already in this video, there was no prey disturbing her or bothering her out of her burrow. Um, we've tried it wet, we've tried it dry, I've tried everything I can think of except to rehouse, and now we're going to have to wait and see. <sighs> I actually kind of like this enclosure, what do you guys think? I tried to just make it basic, but I actually kind of like it. Oh, we forgot the water to put the water dish back in. Look at this. I can literally just do what I want around an old world tea. Like, it's just strange. It's very strange. <sighs> right, let's put the camera back on me. Right, I'm far too lazy to put it back on the stand because I really just want to end this video and keep an eye on her. So I'm going to pop her on the shelf. Oh, I've also tried light, guys. I've tried having her in lighter environments and darker environments as well, and it's still not had an impact. So we're going to come back and revisit this girl maybe next month, um, unless something spectacular happens. If something strange happens, I'll update you sooner. Otherwise, I'll update you in about a month and see if anything has changed. So right, that's it. This is the last video I'm actually recording on the same day, so I won't be wearing the same t-shirt and the realm should be tidier for the next one. But thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.